we're going to have a look at the basic meaning of multiplication and division. So, looking at this little picture over here, if I wanted to know how many dots there are in that picture, I could think of it as being, I've got three, and then I add on another three, and then another three, and then another three. So I could write that as I've got three, another three, add on another three, add on another three. But I could also just think of that as saying, look, I've got one, two, three, four groups, four rows of three. So I've got four lots of three. Now, if I just took this thing here and moved it onto its side, right, in other words, just rotated it, it would end up looking like this. And that immediately tells us that I've got one, two, three rows of four in each row. And that's going to give me exactly the same total. So I could also write that as three rows of four. And obviously, it's not going to be any stretch for any of us to see that the answer in each of these cases is going to be 12. Now, just like addition and subtraction are related as opposite calculations of each other, so are multiplication and division. So the minute that we know that 4 times 3 is equal to 12, we can immediately write down the related division facts. We know then that 12 divided by 3 is 4, and we also know that 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. But let's put a little bit of a meaning to what does it mean when I'm asking you to calculate 12 divided by 3. Well, one of the ways we can interpret that is to think of it as asking the question, how many groups of 3 are there in 12. And we can see quite easily that there are, if we're looking at how many groups of 3, right? So this is a little group of 3. How many groups of 3 are there in 12? Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 3 in 12. And then in a related way, we can obviously see this thing, the 12 divided by 4, as being saying, how many groups of 4 are there in 12? And if we just look at it in this way, there's 1, 2, 3 groups of 4 in 12. And that's why 12 divided by 4 is 3.